Go on then. Oh, and I've just made that. <laughs> yeah, I know, thanks. <laughs> Don't you spend enough time in that room of yours? Well, it's called studying. If someone had have done more of it, then who knows? <gasps> Ouch! Sorry, it's a morning thing. Oh, it's fine. It's quite nice to see you back to your usual spiky self after yesterday. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I reckon it was just a 24 hour bug or something. What are you doing here anyway? Not that it isn't lovely to see you. I'm on the hunt. I was wondering if we could uh, steal some of Moses' old goodly toys. Anything you don't want anymore, Fresta. Get you being a proper dad. Hang on, though, couldn't you actually just go out and buy this stuff now that you're super flush? Have you not heard? It's all about recycling now, Mum. <laughs> right, I'll see what I can track down. <laughs> Thanks. How's my gorgeous man doing? If he calls, I'll let you know. <gasps> See that? That banter right there. That is how I know we are meant for each other. Is that the only reason? No, you know it's not. No, no, I know. Are you all right? I'm fine, yeah. Why shouldn't I be? Nothing, you just seem far away. No, no, I'm all here. I'm all yours. Speaking of, are you free at any point today? Oh, why? Someone came to get the wedding plans sorted. Or did we have something else in mind? I was thinking about both. All right, well, I'll see how things go at work and then I'll, I'll text you. OK. In the meantime, I need to get to town before work. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Can't guarantee it. See you. Bye. So, I hear that Cathy and Heath are having a party for the 16th birthday. Gathering. Small gathering. Bob was quite insistent. I guess he's been lumbered with doing the food. Well, in, when are you going to be helping you? No, no, she's working late. Oh, I'm sure I'll manage. It's teenagers, isn't it? I mean, there's not much prep needed. Will you go and sit down? I'll bring the food over. Thanks. Hold me a sec. Oh, you're really good with her, aren't you? <laughs> well, I've been getting the practice in. Yeah, won't let me near her half at time. Yeah, he's a superstar in more ways than one. Well, that's nice to hear. Cos you weren't saying that a few months back. Thanks, Brenda. Bring it down, why don't you? Well, I didn't think I was. You said this was a family celebration and I was just commenting on how things had worked out in the end. Brenda has got a point, Dad. Well, some might say I'm wise. Mm, well, I bet. That's fine. OK. Fair dues. Look, I mean, seriously. I'm sorry, son. You've come good. I should have never tried to split you and Amelia up. Don't worry. There's more under bridge in it. Thanks. Oh, well, I, for one, am very pleased for you all. What can I get you? Can I have a coffee, Brenda? And the magic word is... Please. They all seem cheerful. Yeah, well, they've got something to celebrate, haven't they? Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, you've probably been out of the loop for a bit. Um... Noah has been given a trust fund from one of the expat Tate lot, you know, Zoe or someone. And uh, he's going to put it all in an account for Esther. Oh, that's nice. Is it worth much? Well, not to be sniffed at, apparently. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. How was you? Made any calls to social services today? Dad, play nice. It's fine. I guess I deserve it. You think so? Dad. Look, what I wanted to say was, I get it. I handle things badly. Welcome to the understatement of the year. Dan, we have managed to patch things up a little bit. So, give him a break, yeah? OK, that's what we all want. Point is, I'm sorry. Like I said, I want the best for everyone. Especially Esther, even if I'm not involved. As far as I'm concerned, the, the slate's clean. OK. Oh, don't expect that. <laughs>